Setting Acceptance Criteria in the Easy Validation Online Tool. From our study screen, in this case number 280, we're going to set the acceptance criteria. First, we want to verify that all of our study information is correct. This is the validation start date, assay name, laboratory name, created by user, and all that we've indicated from our earlier steps, the first four easy steps. Our target analyte is HIV. These are the parameters. So it's a validation of a quantitative assay following the clear CAP New York State guidelines. These are the different studies that we will be performing. One thing you want to make sure is entered is the instrument ID number for your extraction system. In this case, it's the Roche Cobas AmpliPrep instrument. The amplification system is the Roche Cobas TACMAN test. And it's entered in here. Type in the number and select Enter. Now the acceptance criteria for the verification or validation study will be set up using default settings from selected guidelines or from user-defined criteria, which is down below in the parameters, acceptance criteria and results section. Displayed here is the accuracy study. As we mentioned earlier, the menus are drop-down menu driven. So in this case, we would click on here for sample ID 1E2 and choose our acceptance criteria. We can choose this for every one of our levels of sample. Here you'll see that the expected result, which should be automatically populated by the Easy Validation tool if you're using Acrometrics products, is all filled in this column. The log expected results as well. The observed results, these are in for demonstration purposes because we've already entered those in. But for your purposes, in this step, these will not be listed until after you've had them input either manually or using an Excel spreadsheet. And then you can see that the validation has automatically been determined based on the selected acceptance criteria, whether the results have passed or failed the criteria. If there's any change to be made in the acceptance criteria or when you're initially entering criteria, always press Save on Accuracy Criteria. And likewise, as you scroll down, the Interfering Substances study, which we do for a validation but wouldn't typically do for a verification, you would enter this. Again, it's drop-down menu driven. Click on Save. Likewise, in this study, we're performing linearity. You would enter your acceptance criteria of slope, intercept, and R-squared value. Again, remember to click on the Save Linearity criteria. The limit of detection, this was automatically chosen in the first four easy steps. And it automatically calculates an estimated 95% of LOD and confidence interval once all of the data has been entered. But here, all of the data has not been entered, so it hasn't been calculated. The repeatability study, again, drop down menu driven. You can choose a different level for each one of your samples, and in this case, we've chosen a higher CV for the high positive control. And lastly, the reproducibility. Same thing, drop-down menu driven. And you can have different levels for each one of your controls.